Hello friends, welcome to Libya Do Mathematics. Today we are going to solve another problem from Eskimapa Classical Algebra, Chapter Theory of Equations and Problem 7 of Chapter Exercise 5. The problem says find the values of a for which the equation a x q minus 6 x square plus 9 x minus 4 equals to 0 may have multiple roots and solve the equation in each case. Okay, so friend, to watch the solution, stay till the end. Watch the whole video because this problem is a tricky one and this is a little bit hard problem okay and the problem solution is going to be a lengthy one so now let's have look what we have to find the value of a we have to find the value of a for which this equation will have multiple roots okay so let's say alpha is a multiple root okay okay so alpha multiple root so this implies f alpha equals to zero and so each f alpha so alpha multiple roots means f alpha equals to 0 and f dash alpha equals to 0 so what is f alpha so put alpha in place of x then we will have a alpha q minus 6 alpha square plus 9 alpha minus 4 equals to 0 okay so we have now a alpha q minus 6 alpha square plus 9 alpha minus 4 equals to 0 so this is our f alpha equals to 0 then f dash alpha just derivative of this so f dash alpha is 3 a alpha square minus 12 alpha plus 9 equals to 0 okay now cancel 3 okay then we will have a alpha square minus 4 alpha plus 3 equals to 0 okay so this is our equation 1 and now let us multiply this equation by alpha both side by alpha then we will have a alpha q minus 4 alpha square plus 3 alpha equals to 0 now this is our equation 2 now do the operation 2 minus 1 ok so a alpha q minus a alpha q cancel out so minus 4 alpha square it will be then plus 6 alpha square so we will have 2 alpha square 3 alpha minus 9 alpha we will have minus 6 alpha ok and then this minus 4 will be plus 4 equals to 0 so now cancel 2 cancel the factor 2 then we will have alpha square minus 3 alpha plus 2 equals to 0 ok now do the middle factor alpha square minus 2 alpha minus alpha plus 2 alpha equals to 0 so now alpha times alpha minus 2 minus 1 into alpha minus 2 equals to 0 so we have alpha minus 1 into alpha minus 2 equals to 0 ok so what we have we have alpha equals to 1 or 2 from this okay so alpha equals to we what we suppose that we let that alpha was our multiple root so the possible multiple roots are 1 and 2 okay so these are the possible multiple roots 1 and 2 may be the possible multiple roots now if 1 is a if 1 is a root okay then if of 1 will be 0 okay now what is our if fx fx is this ax cube minus 6 x square plus 9 x minus 4 okay so let us write fx fx equals to ax cube minus 6 x square plus 9 x minus 4 equals to 0 okay then so we will have now f1 equal to 0 so in place of x put f1 okay so this is our fx so we thought this to be fx then f1 will be 0 so f1 is a times 1 q minus 6 times 1 square plus 9 times 1 minus 4 this is our f1 so this will be equals to 0 then we have a minus 6 plus 9 minus 4 equals to 0 this implies a so minus 6 minus 4 minus 10 plus 9 equals to 0 so a equals to plus 1 okay so then a will be 1 so 1 is a possible value of a now when a equals to 1 then what is our equation then the equation a x q minus 6 x square plus 9 x minus 4 equal to 0 becomes so in place of a put 1 this becomes x q minus 6 x square plus 9 x minus 4 equals to 0 ok now what was our root 1 was our root so since 1 is a root so x minus 1 will be a factor 
So now let us do a little bit back calculation. So x minus 1 is a factor, so here put x square, multiply, then we will have x q minus x square, then put minus 5x, so we have minus 5x square, okay, plus 5x. Now look carefully. Now we what we have x q minus 6x square, minus x square minus 5x square, combines give us 6 minus x square then we have to get plus 9x we already got plus 5x so now we put plus 4 then we will have plus 4x minus 4 equals to 0 and this is equals to 0 so now we can write x minus 1 times x square so now do this middle factor okay so we can we will middle factor this do, then we will have minus 4x minus x okay plus 4 equals to 0 so x minus 1 then take x x minus 4 okay mm, sorry and minus 1 take then my x minus 4 sorry okay this equals to 0 then what we have so we have x minus 1 x minus 4 and again x minus 1 okay so this is equals to 0 so this has to be there is so we can write this like this x minus 1 square x minus 4 equals to 0 and x minus 1 square comes because 1 was our multiple root okay 1 was our multiple root okay? we go, here we got that alpha equals to 1 and 2 are the possible multiple roots okay so x equals to 1 is a multiple root so x minus 1 square is a factor and then x minus 4 equals to 0 so the roots are x equals to so this this x minus 1 square equals to 0 so this one x minus 1 square equals to 0 gives x equals to 1 1 this is it, 1 is a double root and then this equals to 0 will give 4 so 1 1 4 are the possible roots when a equals to 1 okay when a equals to 1 now we will consider the second case that is when 2 is a possible multiple root okay then we have to find the value of a now when so let alpha equals to 2 be a possible multiple root okay be a possible multiple root so now alpha equals to 2 is a possible multiple root now since 2 is a so 2 is a root of the equation a x q minus 6 x square plus 9 x minus 4 equals to 0 ok so now let us put 2 in place of x then we have a times 2 q minus 6 times 2 square plus 9 times 2 minus 4 equals to 0 then we have 8 a minus 24 okay plus 18 minus 4 equals to 0 okay so this gave 8 a so minus 24 minus 4 minus 28 okay plus 18 equals to 0 so we have 8 a equals to 10 that means a equals to 10 by 8 that's mean 5 by 4 so our value of a is 5 by 4 then then we have so then the equation a x q minus 6 x square plus 9 x minus 4 equals to 0 becomes in place of a just put 5 by 4 times x q minus 6 x square plus 9 x minus 4 equals to 0 now multiply the whole equation by 4 then we have 5 x q minus 24 x square okay plus 36 x minus 16 equals to 0 now remember alpha equals to 2 was a root ok so x minus 2 will be factor again we will do that calculation back calculation so then 5x square multiply then we will have 5x cube minus 10x square ok then we have to make it minus 24x square so multiply by minus 14x then we have minus 14x square plus 28x ok so now we have to make it plus 36x and we have 28 so multiply by plus 8 then we will have plus 8x plus 8 minus 2 minus 16 okay so now this is equals to 0 now again we have to middle factor this so x minus 2 then so 5 8 40 so 5x square minus 10x minus 4x plus 8 equals to 0 okay so x minus 2 times take 5x then 5x times x minus 2 okay plus 4 sorry take minus 4 times x minus 2 okay so this is equals to 0 then we have 
x minus 2 and from here we have x minus 2 5x minus 4 equals to 0 so we have actually x minus 2 square 5x minus 4 equals to 0 now look again here 2 was our possible multiple root okay so let's 2 be a possible multiple root so 2 was our possible multiple root so x minus 2 square so the factor x minus 2 square comes okay now and this factor so this is equal to 0, 0 means so either this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0 now this is equal to 0 means x equals to 2 2 cos 2 is a double root so x uh, 2 times 2 comes 2 times then 5x minus 4 equals to 0 means x equals to 4 by 5 so the roots are x equals to 2 2 4 by 5 when a equals to 5 by 4 so thank you friends hope you enjoy the video and if you like this video please subscribe the channel and don't forget to share the video with your friends please please subscribe the channel because your subscription is our inspiration so thank you friends and please don't forget to subscribe thank you